Well, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This here's deer meat for dinner, and this is my Carolina skiff. So many of you have seen this boat over the years. And to tell you the truth, this boat has pretty much kept us afloat financially for several years. This is the boat that me and Sarah ran all of our alligator hunts out of. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty rancid right now. This little rancid unit, it worked well. That's busted up. These, I put these rod holders on here because they work better. Got all, all this nonsense. And then uh, all the latches are, oh, let's just shut all that. It's too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a Gator Pro harpoon in here just in case anyone gets squirrely. Johnny Briggs, JD Ross, employees. JD, what do you think, man? <laughs> Seriously. I First off, it, let's see the hair. Let's see the hair. Yeah, it's gone. Oh my gosh, look at him. He looks like, oh my goodness gracious. That is, oh, put yeah, the hat yeah, back on. Look in the mirror. Put the hat back the on. Start. The beard's gone, the hair's gone. Do you, you got two weeks. Do you think you can pull it off? No, but it's gonna get done. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we'll get it done. It, it, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. We got a great crew and uh, honestly, it's just dirty. Lovely. I know it looks ugly, I know it looks beat up, but she means a lot to me. After she got pressure washed, starting to get everything taken off her. Got the whole back of this taken off. Look how disgusting that is. Got the motor off, hanging up there right there. Just taking the fuel tank out right now. A lot of parts we're replacing here. Now the Carolina skiff floor is extremely wavy and hardly straight. You can see the ridges and stuff in there. So there's nothing much we can do with that. We don't want to load this thing up with uh, a P77 filler or anything, which is doable, but not something we want to do. Getting the edge all smoothed out. Got some Duraglass going on the floor, trying to level this thing out. It's super rough from the factory. down the final coat looking really good getting the front cap set in got our molding on there got these old ugly Carolina skiff hatches five rod holders in the back plenty of cup holders and we got five more rod holders in the front everything's working guys this is it man I was so excited coming down here and dropping off that boat you know the guys did such an amazing job on my Rambo that when it was time to rebuild the, the Carolina skiff there was only one person to do it called JD and Johnny right onto Derry Road. we're almost there y'all so I have no idea what it looks like but 
I'm super anxious. I feel like a teenager going to pick up his girlfriend for the first time. I'm all like sweaty palms here. I'm so stoked. Arrived. <laughs> Alright y'all, holy crap. Holy smokes. Johnny Briggs. See that crap. <laughs> Look at this. I ain't believing my eyeballs, y'all. I'ma start off in the back. I've been using Blue Gabe's boat quite a bit, and he's got power poles on his boat, and I was like, oh my gosh, if we're gonna do this, we gotta have power poles. That's epic. Come check this out. Look at the rims. Are you kidding me? So whenever I dropped this boat off, this trailer was absolutely trashed. I mean, I pulled this thing down every dirt road, bumpy, crazy place in the state of Florida. And uh, it looks perfect now. It doesn't even look like the same boat, boys. Are you kidding me? We're gonna put a, a nice cooler right here. We had that, we had like a rinky dink rocket launcher that was always in the way. So we're gonna put a cooler right here. Rod holders, yes! Check this out. One point out, one point back, one point that way. Five rod holders across the back. Dude, what'd you do with all the mold that I had in there? We sold it for you. It goes pretty good. <laughs> I get attached to things really easily. Dude, this right here is so money. Okay, word to whoever did this at Sea Deck. That is money. Because people always throw stuff right here, and I get ready to go run, and it comes sliding off. And it irritates me. Look at my live bait wells. Those things are pretty. Dude over here in his truck's really trying to get on YouTube really hard. He's like, I'm gonna just sit here and rev up this 1992 Chevy until they point the camera at me. Tell me you didn't already get me safety gear. Are you kidding me? Life jackets and a throwable. Is there anything in this side? Shut up! Hold on. Flare gun. What do you think, I'm gonna kill somebody? Safety gear. Dock lines that match! Mr. JD, you know him as Jesus, <laughs> Johnny Briggs. I want you guys to know something. This wasn't free. But whenever I came here, I knew that I wanted to resurrect this boat because YouTube has done something miraculous for my family. It's given us an opportunity to tell our stories worldwide. And I don't want to be that guy that just goes out and buys everything new. This boat supported me and my family when we were dead broke and when we were fighting for a living and when we didn't have a platform like YouTube to, to make a living. This is formerly no longer called Carolina Skiff. This is called Deer Meat for Dinner Skiff because these boys resurrected it. And I want to say thank you very much the sea deck is so important because it's soft and it's quiet. When we're getting close to an alligator, when people are walking and dropping things, the sea deck is soft. When my little girls are laying on it, playing on it, it's soft, it's quiet, and it looks good. It's also super easy to clean. Power poles. Now I don't have to pull out an anchor and drop the anchor. I can just drop the, the power poles. And nothing looked like this. These are good old American dudes. Both of you guys were in the military, right? Absolutely. What were you? Air Force. What was your MOS? I was Armin with a naval reactor operator. You guys, these are American made, born and bred, red, white, and blue. This is what America was built on. American ingenuity, hard work, elbow grease, and pure effort. For that I say thank you, brothers. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. This is, uh, I just can't wait to get home and show Sarah. Show Sarah. <laughs> so I'm not going to say gone yet, because we ain't leaving until you see her reaction. Love you guys. What an amazing experience to be pulling out of Karma Customs with my gator skiff fully resurrected. Oh my gosh, we got a bimini top again. <gasps> they took the seat out. What are you gonna put here? We're gonna have a nice cooler there. 
There'll be a nice cooler there with a cushion back. Inside lights, outside lights, everything. It's always good when you invest this much money building something back and then mom is happy. So, I just yeah, can't. I'm gonna be the one driving this. All right, I can't say enough great things. That's the Rambo that they did. Now we got the Carolina skiff all done. So stoked, they did the boat, they did the trailer. All, they did everything. So that's all I got for you guys, guy. Take care, God bless, we go.